Welcome to our lecture, The Province of Nova Scotia. Facts about Nova Scotia. The name Nova Scotia is Latin for New Scotland. The weather in Nova Scotia is moderate and has four distinct seasons, winter, spring, summer and fall. Nova Scotia was one of the founding four provinces to join Confederation with Canada in 1867. Halifax, the province capital city, is a major international seaport and transportation center, as well as the economic and cultural hub of the region. The population is approximately 940,000 people, and English is the official language, although Nova Scotians of Acadian heritage speak French. The job market. Manufacturing and trade are driven by its peninsula location and excellent harbor. The economy is diversified and focused on information technology, the aerospace industry, medical research, ocean research, and the field industry. Nova Scotia main industries fishing, forestry, Mining, agriculture, tourism, education. Those are the main industries in the province of Nova Scotia. So if your occupation is one of those uh, industries, you have some chances of getting a job in Nova Scotia. The major cities in Nova Scotia are Halifax, Cape Breton, Truro, Arnex, etc. So as you can see, Halifax has less than half a million inhabitants. So so they are small cities, but they are growing thanks to immigration and thanks to investment that are coming to the province. Now let's check some recommended online resources for the province of Nova Scotia. The official Nova Scotia Canada website has some information for online job posting. You can check here. The, when you can do a career planning, you can choose your career, education and training, or find a job. To continue exploring the website, you can check the Explore Careers, when you can browse by categories, or by the no code. You can search also by education, so you have different choices based on the website information. They also have information for resumes, cover letters, and interviews. And you can check also occupational videos that are available in the website. So you can see different professions and how they are practiced in Nova Scotia. You can also find the labor market information in the Nova Scotia provincial website, as well as statistics and publications that they have in regard to the labor market. And career planning step. You can follow this step in this website from how to do your assessment to what opportunities are available in Nova Scotia, how you can make your best uh, decision when it comes to assessing your ideas, and also how to create an action plan in order to get a job in Nova Scotia. They have some or a career quizzes and information for the students and immigrants as well. You also can find this website, Job Search Size, and they you have the list of all of them here that you can check those links and find information about the opportunities available in Nova Scotia. And you can use the tool for current Nova Scotia job opportunity by keywords or occupation when you can find those posted in this website. Now let's take a look at all the resources in Nova Scotia. And here we are in a website cream when you can find job by locations job titles and categories and basically here you can see featured postings available also in Nova Scotia for different employers in different cities Dartmouth Nova Scotia New Glasgow so very interesting you can also find feature and recruiters in the province the newspaper have two opportunities, this uh, funeral house have one opportunity, 
this is a moving a one opportunity uh, again you can be all you can also find career articles here that can help you just information for you for job search mistakes to avoid career goals and your CV or curriculum vitae again very interesting website and the link is provided in the lecture so take a look at this uh, interesting website Crane is basically focused on jobs in Nova Scotia you can also check this website for Cape Breton Partnership they have a good, very good article about the step that can help you find a designated employer and move to Nova Scotia and the link is included and here is spelled out the step step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and 5 a good article and highly recommended for you to read another website that you can check is for tourism talent, people that are specialized in the tourism industry, that work for hotels, agencies, travel agencies, etc., you can find opportunities in this website. Basically, you register and you can check the careers that are available. So if I click here, it's going to give me a lot of details about the discoverytourism.ca, the occupational standards, the job specific training the website that help people get accredited in this industry in Canada scholarship opportunity and information for employers as well so very good good website if you check here in the tourism jobs you can see the list of all the empl employment available in the industry different hotels especially because Nova Scotia is very popular uh, destination for tourists in Canada okay Another website will be Nova Scotia Job Shop. And here you have the list of all the jobs available for different employers, different positions, and you can apply directly from the website. Remember that if you're applying for these employers, you need to mention your cover letter that you are an immigrant and looking for a sponsorship. So the employer doesn't have any surprise at the end. If they are aware of the information, the cover letter you will give the information for the uh, pilot program, the Atlantic pilot program, if they want more information, they can do the, the due diligence there. But we have a list of uh, employment opportunities here. So basically you can take a look at this source. Another website, of course, we cannot leave is the best employer in Nova Scotia, top employer for 2019. And if we continue here, down here, you will see the list of the best employers in the contest for the year. And depending on your industry, you can check and research all these companies and try to use the tools to get contact and network with the people that work in that in those places. Okay. So the link is provided again in the, in the lecture. And finally, we have the last resource. It is Nova Scotia, the career home. You can see your profile. You can explore opportunities in different industry. You can search by location here. And you can check the current Nova Scotia government for employee, people looking to work in the government. Basically, that's for people that are already living in Canada but you can use the other resources available for you and you can sign up to receive job notifications how to apply and explore opportunities so i hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much